Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on the Samsung SSD 850 EVO unboxing and a close-up look. Okay, let's take a look at the box itself. On the front, it has a nice picture of the SSD. It says VNAN SSD 850 EVO, as well as the word Samsung. On the bottom, it says Samsung SSD 850 EVO, 250 gigabytes, made in China, and the serial number and barcode. All right, let's take a look at the size here. It says VNAN SSD 850 EVO, and it says it on all the sides, actually. Let's take a quick look around here as you can see it all is the same except for the bottom and let's take a look at the back cover here it says vnan ssd 850 evo as well and the word samsung but also it uh, says a new caliber of performance and endurance and it gives a model number as well on the bottom there However, the most important thing that it says on the back, in my opinion, is that it says a five-year limited warranty. And that means that this SSD has been built to last for a good number of years without any trouble. All right, uh, I grabbed my uh, pocket knife here, and let's cut the tape on the top here and open up the lid. And that way we can go ahead and remove the SSD out of the box. And then it's got some packaging there. And I can feel the SSD on the bottom there. I grabbed it nice and tight. Didn't want that falling out. That would not be a good idea to allow that to happen. And on the back, well, that's not coming off. I seem to have glued that on. All right, let's go ahead and flip it over and remove the SSD to begin with and we'll take a look at that. It is a nice sharp looking um, SSD and uh, on the back let's take a close-up look here. It says Samsung SSD 850 EVO 250 gigabytes and uh, a model number and on the side here you can see the power connector as well as the SATA connector um, for the drive and then on the left side it has two holes and on the right side it also has two holes and that allows you to screw the um, hard drive or the SSD drive rather into a um, bracket so that it will fit into your laptop or your even your desktop okay and again the front looks sharp it says Samson and uh, we'll put that aside and see if we can't get the um, it looks like the DVD, um, it's definitely glued in there. Hmm. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Guess they didn't want you to lose the most important thing, the, the uh, paperwork and DVD. <laughs> At any rate, um, we have the insulation guide here. And uh, we'll be going through that, or I will at least. And uh, we have the DVD with the um, ne software needed and also the warranty statement uh, information. Okay, in order to expedite this video so that um, we don't waste any video time and you're not bored to death, I've already went ahead and replaced the mechanical hard drive that was in this low-end Asus laptop model number X551M. Um, it had a mechanical drive, a Seagate um, 500 gigabyte drive and I replaced it with the Samsung SSD. So let's take a look at the um, numbers because those are the things that really count when you replace a um, mechanical hard drive with a SSD and a low-end laptop. First of all, like I said, the original um, mechanical drive was a Seagate ST500 LT012 5400 RPM. And now in this um, laptop, I have the Samsung VNAN SSD 850 EVO with 250 gigabytes of disk space. Okay, let's look at the old mechanical drive numbers. 
um, on the sequential read, I was getting 92.15 megabytes per second, and on the sequential write, I was getting 93.56 megabytes per second. Now on the new drive, the SSD, I get 283.8 megabytes per second on the sequential read, and on the um, sequential write, I get 271.1 megabytes per second. A whopping big difference, folks. And I am really super happy with the performance numbers here and really look forward to using this laptop and its newfound performance. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Subscribe and leave a like.